What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Echoes of Mana on this beautiful Sunday fun day down here in Austin, Texas. We got blue skies, no clouds, the sun is shining. What a perfect day to stay inside and play video games. You know what I'm talking about? So in today's video, I want to show you guys what co-op is like here in the world of Echoes of Mana. It was a real big reason why I was excited about this game in the first place. So in this video, let me show you what the raw minute to minute gameplay experience of co-op is like here echoes of mana so the first thing you want to do you want to make sure you press this co-op button because if you join co-op in any other screen there's a 92.7 percent chance repeating of course that your game will crash trust me on that one um in this event you actually get yourself a free three star randy right here so you always love an event where you get a free character very very cool so let's click on events it's called trial to the toughest and inside this event, of course, you have an event shop. Um, this is where you're gonna get your free Randy. You're also gonna get a free memory gem as well and lots of upgrade materials to power it up. Experience Tums, Echo Bloom, you know, Ascension materials. Great event, right? Free character, free memory gem, and all the things you need to power them up. Um, so right now I have two stages unlocked. I have hard and very hard. I'm gonna stick to hard because FG refuses to be carried, all right? I don't have a character that's quite 6,000 power, so I don't wanna be that dude, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to be him. All right, let's ready up. You can give little stickers here. Ah, man, it looks like I'm BMing. <laughs> My bad, dude, I'm not trying to BM. <laughs> so let's go, oh, he's all confused. <laughs> My bad, here's a little kiss. Don't kiss me, don't kick me from the room, please. So yeah, the raw experience, baby, no edits. I want you guys to feel what co-op is like. Ooh, look at this guy, overpowered. You love to see, come carry us. Now, the cool thing is, once you get into a room, you can stay with those uh, same party members to kind of drain out your uh, your blue stamina. Or, of course, if you actually have friends, <laughs> if you actually have friends, you guys can just set up a room together and just grind in there, you know, all day together, which is always good. Loading times for the loading screens, you know, it is what it is. That's Echoes of Mana. WFS said it was because of the overloaded servers, you know, during launch, but that uh, that was proven to be a lie. So here is the boss. I am one of the Durans you see there. <laughs> Doing my best rogue impression. Oh, I'm in the front of the boss. That's not good. I thought you were a rogue FG. Me too. So I'm going to make sure that we keep the like the defense down on the boss here. Try not to get hit by things is always good. Get out of that. Get out of that. Now that little spinny move, you definitely want to avoid. Absolutely want to avoid. Especially that one. Like it is, It's a little tricky because the telegraph, the red part on the ground disappears, but he's still swinging, so you can still get hit by the swinging swinging. It runs around the stage a little bit there, beating up on people. I'm gonna switch to Angela just because she's available and start doing some, oh, oh, so right now he's trying to charge up. You wanna do as much damage as you possibly can. Oh my God, we're being carried. Dude, this is what co-op is all about, baby. <laughs> Earlier in the video, I was like, I don't, I refuse to be carried. But I mean, if you're offering carriedness, I'll, I'll accept carriedness. Like, who am I? Who am I to decline to be carried? So if you get hit by a little, little spinner, oh, dude, look at that. <laughs> Let me put a little stamp out. <laughs> Ooh, I'm up first. Now, as far as I can tell, right, we're gonna fail this charge up. We didn't, we didn't knock him down. Oh wow, we killed him, dude. This is what co-op is all about. So if you fail to kill him when he does that charge up, he blows up the entire stage. So I, I figure it's best, ooh, I was the best tank. Look at that, look at my little reward. You see it? Ah, man, I clicked it. <laughs> um, it looks like the best thing you can do is just to just keep fighting. If you fail, who cares? Just keep on going because the explosion's gonna get you anyway. So you can add people as friends if you want to. You can click next and this should try, try to put you back into the room, hit ready. Come on, leader. Ready us up, dude. That was such a fast run. The leader left. Welcome to the room-based co-op experience, my friends. But I guess that could pretty much happen even in matchmaking co-op. So now I'm the leader. And uh, the person that is super overpowered, my boy Tinny D, is still here. So if he's still here, I'm still here. Let me give him a little, uh, let me give him something. A little, little wave. Come on, dude. Don't leave me, man. You could start with just two, but I don't really recommend it. Even if the person's overpowered, I, I don't think that's a really good idea. Aw, oh, man, I was having such a good time, too. So, yeah, it's one of those situations where if you can stick with some people that are actually wanting to play for an extended period of time, it's always a little bit more 
uh, satisfaction when it comes to trying to queue up multiple times. This is kind of frustrating because, you know, you want to play, you got time to play, and now you're just kind of like, dude, is my friend going to leave? Should I leave? Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just when I thought it was, okay, we're good, good, go. <laughs> just when I was about to leave my own room. I'm a part of the problem. I'm literally a part of the problem. Because <laughs> I was literally about to leave. All right, here we go. You can turn on autoplay for these, but... Dude, there's no way. The AI in this game is absolutely atrocious. I think WFS did it on purpose, which is really rude. I don't think the AI should be as bad as it is, but I think the AI is as bad as it is because they didn't want people to just, just kind of zone out and let the full autoplay do the co-op for them. Um, but it also kind of screws up your auto-repeat on stages because the co-op or because the AI is so bad, there will be a stage that you can easily defeat if you're playing it manual. But your AI components, when they're doing it on full auto, will completely, like, like not do good at all. <laughs> like, really bad. Like, die in the first wave type of bad. So, that's kinda, it's really frustrating when you're just trying to grind a stage that's not fun to play anymore because you've already overpowered it. And the AI is just so bad at what it does. You, you can't. You can't. You got you to gotta do it manually. So, what's the point of having auto-repeat full auto, WFS? Um, I think a really... Oop, you about to charge up? I think a, a band-aid that you can put on an issue like that, if you don't want to... Ah, dude, I'm down. I'm down for the count. <laughs> I'm down for the count, man. I wish... Now, I know I'm being punished for missing and not getting out of the telegraph. Like, I get it. This is a punishment mechanic. Um, if you stand in the telegraph, you get stunned, right? But I wish if I was stunned, I could actually swap to another character. Like, I want to swap when one person's stunned. It feel more like gamey and combatty if I could switch when I'm stunned or sleep um, but whatever um, but one thing I think they can do as far as like to band-aid the issue that they have with just a really bad co-op and auto repeat and full auto is just to give your party a buff like a passive buff on your entire party when doing auto repeat that would do look at me I'm again look at the ace st and star tank <laughs> do what a game up <laughs> to give your uh, auto companions uh, when they're doing auto repeat on full auto, give them a buff, right? Just give just give them a buff. That way they're more likely to complete the stage and that way you don't actually you don't have to actually code brand new co-op into the game, right? That's a little lazy FG tip for you. All right, WFS, write it down. I don't know, I don't need no credit. As far as where I am in the game itself, um, I'm on chapter five. Ooh, look at this boss. 4,800 battle power. That's a little hard for me. That's what she said. But I think I can beat uh, chapter three hard. I do need to do this. Um, effective against water and attack its back for increased damage. Um, so effective against water, recommend it all. That's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> I don't really have a full-blown water team at the moment. And this current banner just doesn't really excite me. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to continue playing the game. Um... Since this game doesn't really work super well on emulator, I just have it on my phone anyway. So it's kind of like, I, I don't know, maybe I will keep it just for those days where I'm just like kind of sitting around. Oh, you little dude, I wasn't prepared for that backhand. Dude just backhanded me with a sword. <laughs> I really like the way this boss is designed though. I gotta say, like I said in my uh, first impressions video, um, the most fun in this game has definitely, has got to be the boss encounters. Um, so. Each arm and each leg of this boss has a different piece of armor. So he's kind of like, uh, I don't know, like an animation armor with all the armor that he found in the dungeon <laughs> type of thing. Oh, dude, what you doing there? Little ball of flame, I see. Or a fanning flare, FG. They literally tell you the skill, the skill ability name right there on the screen. Guess we'll switch to Prim Prim here for a second. I don't really like Prim Prim from a, a gameplay perspective. I love her character and her design. But I don't really like her kit. I don't like using this boomerang, dude. Like, not at all. I'm going to switch to my own Duran Duran. Low-key Duran is probably one of the most fun characters to use. Not even low-key, like super high-key. No, dude! I found that the, the AI doesn't switch out low party members fast enough. So, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I... Move, 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 Randy! Move, Randy! What you doing, little boy? <laughs> I found that the AI just doesn't swap to uh, the partner unit when you're on low health fast enough. So what I've been doing is I switch to those characters and then swap partners manually. 
which I, I, I feel like you shouldn't have to do, dude. If you're like at 10% health, the game should be swapping to your partner unit like, like right there, but the game doesn't. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So all over the place quality-wise in this game, WFS, all over the, I didn't get an S rank. <laughs> what in the world? I hate this game. But yeah, there, there you go, my friends. A nice little look at Echoes of Mana, the co-op. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. Like, it's not bad, right? Um, I'm still not a, a big fan of room-based co-op, but right now the game in the room is popping, so there's plenty of people in rooms to get it done. And like I said, if you have real-life friends, you guys can just shack up in a room together and knock it out, burn out all your stamina. Um, but I'm not... I think that when it comes to co-op, I think it is better done in non-active combat games. Hear me out. I think like if you're doing like co-op in like a like a turn-based kind of game or something like that, where you're all co-oping together and you guys can just throw that bad boy in auto and grind together, I, I think it has more longevity because I get to a point, me personally, just speaking for myself, I'll get to a point where I'm like, all right, I've, I've fought like three of these bosses. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to keep fighting the same boss over and over and over to burn out my 193 blue staminas. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do it. Oh, I don't have enough stamina. Oh, it's yellow stamina. Dude, I didn't even know it was yellow stamina. <laughs> I didn't even know. Uh, sorry, guys. I got to go. <laughs> My mom's calling me. See you later. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was blue stamina to do that. It's yellow. It's yellow. All right, guys. So I am out. Hopefully, you guys saw what co-op is all about here at Echoes of Mana. My name is FG3000. I'm going to maybe play until the next banner, possibly. Um, but until the next video, I'm out. See you in the next one.